Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing well. New part of the year. I'm out here, I'm back here working on a Air Venturi Avenger regulator. Um because it was creeping, it was creeping about 50 50 uh PSI. They fit, you know, your bottle fills 4350. You're putting a lot of pressure on this actual regulator. And you're possibly going to get some type of bleed, bleed by, which if it's a high enough number, say like 150, 200, 300, 400, 500, that tells me you got an O-ring problem. Turn this dude around. Boop. That O-ring right there, right there at my index finger. All right, <sighs> you need to replace it. But anyways, these uh, regulators come in and they're set up like this. That's uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Ten Bavel washers. All right. You have one cupped up, which is down because that was the last one. That was the last one to go on, so it was cupped up. But I put it down because I went left to right. So, anyhow, that come out on your shelf. Two, four, six, eight, nine, and ten. This one should be down. Ah. Right. Yeah, down. If you can see from the Bevel washers... The Francais word, anyways. You got them gaps. See that last one? It's cupped toward the the end of this shaft down there on that other old ring. But anyways, if you're getting uh creep really bad, it's that old ring. If you're getting some creep, it'll be that one. Because it goes in, whoops, it goes in like this, okay? And it seats up in the, in there. But I'm polishing all this one. And I'm going to get rid of this creep. I already polished, if you can tell. Whew, sure is shiny, ain't it? I polished the cap, top part of the cap, too, a little bit. But... I polished it right there, boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like a diamond. All right, and I'm fixing to pol polish all of these guts. That's what I was talking about. But it takes a little bit of heat right there. I mean a little bit to get this cap off. And then you'll find all this inside. This is the one I broke. It didn't work out, so I broke it. I fixed the polish the inside. I've already done this part, just around there. I've even done where the, uh, let's see if I can get it. You can sort of kind of tell it's shiny. The very end of this, I found them two marks, so eh, whatever. They're gone now, so. But that's what I'm working on this evening. I'm going to polish it up, put it back in the gun, and I'm going to set it for 1500 And I'm going to see if it's going to creep. Got all my supplies. You'll need them, a good headlight. I think them are 2.0 reading glasses, so I, you can really magnify in the um, polishing compound. Uh, I got a couple of different mops. I'll take this mop and I'll put a couple of these big cleaning patches on it, especially protect the end here unless I just go ahead and cut that off, which I'm fixing to do anyways, and smooth it up. Then I'll put, put them 
polishing patch on there and stick it in here, clean it up real good and stick it in there and clean that part up real good and then polish the shaft real good. I've already did the tip with that little white thing. I'm going to polish the washers. The thing, you see, look, I'm polishing it. I have it on a glass. So we'll go around, figure eight, whatever. See what that little bit did. I haven't did this yet on these. I can see, oh, there it is. The very edge on some of it is shiny, but right there at the top, say 12 o'clock, it's sort of kind of a dull spot. Well, that's not what you want. It's not what you want. And then I'm going to shine, polish the other side. Just make sure they're flat. See how much it did. See, it started doing just that little bit. You're looking to take that little edge off there because when these bevel washers, which this is cupped the same way my hand is, this little edge surface, you want flat because this one is curved to the right. So you want that curve to match flat. And mate around the edge to seal it. It's just going to make things better. Uh, other than that, that's all I got for y'all at the moment. And then I'll do the air testing, and this right here probably won't take me 30 minutes. And But the thing is, I'm going to check it really good. And this is 7,000 um, sandpaper, uh, jewelry polishing paper. And the polishing, I'm using 600 grit polish. And that way I don't use up all my bore polish. But um, I may have some seven somewhere around there, but it's just a little old thing. I'll put a little dab of D, a little dab of D on it, dude right there, them patches, and get after it. And I'm doing all of this by hand. I'm not using any machinery other than the screwdriver to take it out, the heat to heat up right there, to get that cap off, snap ring pliers. Then my headlight, I'm taking my cowboy hat off. Take my cowboy hat off, put my headlight on so I have some good eyes. I got backup, backup light too, so. Anyhow, that's where we're at. And it should be all, you know, it either gonna work right or not. If it still creeps, then I'm changing up the bevel washers for certain to about 1450, 1500. I have extra uh, bevel washers like in this old set that if you use a 10, which this is 10, you got a 12, you have a 13, and you have a 14 bevel washer system inside these regulators if that still don't work i got some springs coming like the lane regulators i'll have some springs and shims and i'll test the different color of springs i gotta measure this to see how big around it is and the od of the uh the od and then the inside id part <clears throat> but i'm sorry this was a little bit longer than i thought um but it's more explanatory i hope than what we did before you can look up my email address under my about page at the top 
she hit the about because it's a Yahoo address that I have posted. And you can contact me. I will then get back with you. I promise that. I always answer everything. I will get back with you on if you would like to send me, which is probably $5 from you one way, and a I haven't figured a price out yet. Um, it's going to be reasonable for you to have a gun, even though it's 350 bucks. You can have a gun that you can just walk up to, and you don't have to cock and cock and cock and cock until it get it, the the regulator settles out. That's bullshit. I like to wake up to my one of my guns, <clears throat> any of my guns, and whatever the regulator said at, that dude's going to be pointing right there. It's not going to be all over the place. Piss on that shit. Because I, if I raise that window and there's a critter out there at the back fence at 40 yards, and I know my gun set at 1,500 PSI because I'll check it, make sure it ain't creep. I'll check them all. They don't creep. They're set up 1,500. I mean, shooting it, I know what it does at 20 to 50 yards back there. But say there, that, I range that squirrel at 50 or 40 yards. I know my holdover by my chart. I don't have to. Because what's going to happen if I cock it and I didn't check that regulator and that regulator went up to 1,700, say, or more, all right, out of the Air Venturi Avenger, it happened, and it shot 1,100 feet per second. And at just 40 yards, <laughs> that thing was like one inch over the top of that squirrel's head from where my point of impact should have been because he was right in front of a cardboard box where I put some corn at it. Anyways, so I tricked him into getting there, and I shot, and I'm like, what the heck? And that's what caught my attention about these regulators. So I'm looking to zero creep. these regulators and if you hit me up in the email on my about page in a couple of days i hope i'll shoot you a price for you to ship me take your regulator out which is real simple you push a, a pin out with something pointed and a little bit of a hammer tap you push the pin out make sure the gun's uh degassed even cock it and shoot it. Sometimes there's a little uh, pressure still down in the, uh, underneath, around the reg area. Take it out. Wrap it in some paper. Toilet paper? I don't care. Just wrap it. Put it in an envelope. Get the mail people to pick the damn thing up. Have it sent to me. If you do that with the money order of whatever amount we decide here in a couple of days, I will... Well, as soon as I receive it and I got that money order, I'll have I'll have actually two, but I'm gonna send you one of them that are already re reworked. And all you do, well, and I'm gonna have it tested. <coughs> I'm gonna have it tested. I won't send it out unless it's tested and it does what it's supposed to. Then I'll test it. I'll wrap it in that probably, if you send it in uh, toilet paper because it was a piece of shit when you sent it to me, then I will rewrap it in something better. It won't be shit paper. Because uh, when you get it, all you have to do, screw it down to where it barely touches that you can feel, back it out the eighth of a turn to a quarter, uh, put the pin in it, or put the pin in it and then back it out either way fill your gun back up to 4350 then watch your gauge because your gauge 
which is on the right side of the gun, may show you something different. So you got to degas the gun, cock it one time, shoot it, undo the gauge, put a new gauge in its place. <laughs> By the way, my digitals ain't coming in yet either. I got to make a phone call on that. Um, and put that in there. Put that in your gun, air it back up, set it to the 14, set it to the 14 or 1500 or 2400 that you want slowly, and then watch that gauge. Leave it alone. Let it sit there overnight, okay? That gauge, it, it better not creep. Because that's really going to piss me off. But I, because it's one of two things. Either the gauges are bad, really bad, that you have. Or you screwed it down too that gun tight and made you some marks. Which this one here has little round marks in the hole. I could probably sand a little bit more. It's got a little round circular hole. It don't have no oblong, so it's fine. So whenever it goes down, whatever it's hitting in the bottom, the port, it's just going to seat. So that's all that shit's for. Um, anyways, unscrew it, set it, and then start enjoying your air gun without, I want you to check it every day on the regulator, the right side. And I want you... I want you to um, shoot it. I want you to shoot it. But I want you to check it the next day. Fill her back up when you're done. 4 to 350. Check, make sure your regulator is where you want it set because of the weight of your projectile. If it is, excellent. If it isn't, degas it and try another gauge by chance. Take one off the left side, your your main pressure gauge, and put it over to the right on the regulator side. I, want, I need you to do these steps. That way... If you send me an email saying this shit didn't work, I'm going to say, all right, you've already tested it. Wrap that bitch back up in a toilet paper. A-OK. -okay. What PSI are you actually looking for? If you're looking for just straight up 2,400, 2,500 output, let me know during the, during the email. Because when I start, when I check, the one before I send it back to you, I've already checked it, but I'm going to check it and in the gun, screw it down, I'm going to come back up. I'm gonna, so it's going to take me about two or three days before I mail it off, and I'll send it back to you because it's at the pressure that you specifically said because of the weight of the projectile you're shooting. Now, if you go to a lighter projectile and degas it, I think you can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that too. I'm gonna, like I say, start at 15. I might start at a thousand psi on my regulator. Then I'm gonna crank it. Okay, because I'm gonna do two different regulators in this whole war deal. One of them I'm gonna set up straight for a PSI level. The other one is gonna be factory, cleaned up everything, and then unscrewed and tested at different PSI levels. If that makes sense, then I'll send it back to you. If it, if the, uh, because you're gonna be, you're gonna want either one or the other. One, you can go from a thousand to like my fifteen hundred psi, no problem. Get up the next morning, same psi, shoot it. Uh, the other one, if you want it higher, 
say 2200 PSI, then you're going to want me to set the, set the bevel washers and everything for 2200 PSI. Now you can use it from 1000 to 2400 PSI, but you'll get no more than 2400. That's what, because it, these regulators are supposed to be adjustable. Zero, or a, say a 1,000 to 3,000 PSI, okay? Uh, that's standard factory set point, blah, blah, blah. But I can change that for you. I can get you to where you pick your gun up in the morning and you just take off. You don't have a worry care in the world, but I do want you to look at that regulator. Make sure it ain't creep. None. Other than that, I know this is a long one, <clears throat> but hit me up email-wise, and let's see if I, we can straighten this mess out. Other than that, y'all stay safe and take care, and I'll talk to you about three or four days from now. What's today? Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. I, I might make a video either Friday or Wednesday, and I'll give you the outcome of what I have. I've already found the outcome because of one regulator, but I'm trying tonight to see if I can. we can use the whole regulator. In other words, that 0 to 3,000 PSI without having creep because i'd hate for you if you said three thousand i'll check it at three thousand it if it don't creep up it's yours and i won't send it back to you in that poo poo paper either <laughs> anyways y'all take care of the lynn i apologize it's so long i guess my drawn out speech from being in texas i have no clue but um like i say y'all need some help with one that's really wigging out Hit me up. It beats cocking the gun and and letting that pop it slam because they're only plastic on the end of it for your valve and letting that pop it slam, which, you know, it makes wear and tear and it can even chip or, or it can wig out, period. Who knows? Haven't had one yet, but I think... I'm getting close on one on my uh, 177. I done shot about I don't know eight or nine thousand rounds through this gun. So ten thousand might be the ringer dinger. Who knows? But uh, y'all take care. Be safe. Hit your point of impact. Know what's behind you that you're shooting in case a pass through happens. Cause that's uh, that's sort of kind of a scary thing right there. Uh, until then, y'all take care. I got that shit down. At, at uh, <laughs> Terminator <laughs> Outdoors. <laughs> nah, I got him whooped. Y'all take care.